and we would like you. All right. Okay, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. So <laughs> we got it kind of under control. Someday I'll figure out how to do that the right way. All right, tonight what we're going to be talking about is how to make your own perfume. So would you like to be able to create your own personal fragrance? We're going to teach you all how to do that tonight. This is so exciting. I love this class. So I think you all are going to have a lot of fun. We're just going to make it real simple and teach you how, and we can get more complicated if time allows us. So you don't have to go to the department stores and buy whatever they're selling because you will be able to make a fragrance that's made just for you. And it's going to be a better quality than anything you can buy at a department store. So let's start. How do you make your own perfume? Well, essential oils are really the root of all perfumes. So there are three different steps to making a perfume. So we're going to go through those and then Rochelle is going to teach us about men's perfumes, men's colognes. So she's, she's all set for that. And that is a part of the class I don't usually do. So I'm happy she's going to do that for us tonight. All right, so how does it work? How do you start <laughs> with your making your own perfume? There was a flashback there. Okay, there are three different steps to a quality perfume. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through those three different steps. When you have a perfume, the basic perfumes that we're gonna make are going to have top notes, base notes, and heart notes. So we're going to go through those three different things. So in general, just to make it real simple for you all, so you can do it on your own some other time if you're not prepared tonight to do it with us. You want a citrus oil, you want a tree oil, and you want a flower oil. So that is how you make your basic perfume. So with Young Living, they actually have some ideas for us. So let me go ahead and find my graphics for you. And I will show you some ideas on how you can have these different fragrances going on. So let's start with the deep notes. Let's start with the base notes. I'm going to show you a graphic. And this is some of the Young Living oils that you might ha have around. And you can use these just in general as your base. That's going to be your heavy notes. This is going to be the, the heavy fragrance that stays after you put your fragrance on and it kind of like it, it goes a little bit well the base notes are your heavy fragrance that's going to stick with you so these are some ideas of what you can have as your heavy fragrance your base note you can use patchouli go ahead and show it to you here this is my patchouli or you can use a myrrh this is a very these are very heavy fragrances myrrh or you can use frankincense. Most of us have cedarwood around. My husband's supposed to get it for me. I don't know what happened to the cedarwood. But cedarwood is a very inexpensive fragrance. If you're just starting off and you don't have cedarwood, get cedarwood. I put it in my diffuser every night. That's why it was in the other room. But cedarwood is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, and we just studied about that last night in our Bible reading. It was all through Solomon's temple, <laughs> cedarwood. And here's another idea, clove. If you like a spicy fragrance, you might like to make clove as your base note. So choose one of these. Here we've got five. This, these are just ideas for you, but choose one of these five you're really looking for like a heavy tree fragrance to be your heavy notes in your fragrance that you're going to make in your perfume that you're going to make your cologne that you're going to make all right so you might want to take a screenshot of this the base notes base notes are going to be your heavy notes in your fragrance so what might you do what are you going to put your fragrance in well you can take an empty young living bottle just pull the label off and you can put a spray top. Show you guys what I have here. Let me go ahead and I think you've got that. You can just take the top off of an empty bottle. I just pull these labels off. And then on Amazon, you can go ahead and get some spray tops and cut cut the the sprayer to the a little bit longer than the bottom of the bottle 
you're going to stick it in there and then you have your spray bottle for the cologne that you're going to make very simple just make sure you always save your empty young living bottles you can use them again and again and again so that's one idea if you want it to be a spray perfume or a spray cologne another idea that a lot of the recipes we have you can put it in a roller ball i got these on amazon i think they're so pretty and you can just put the roller ball on the top that comes with it they have these little funnels to make sure your drops all go in there and you want to put about 10 and 10 to 20 drops of your base note in your um roller ball uh, lisa do you have a question for me go ahead i i just was going to add i use that Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood Hydrosol bottle uh, when it was empty. Perfect. Yep. It's a bigger bottle, but that's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice idea. Okay, so that's going to be the beginning of your um, perfume, cologne, however you want to make it. The perfume is going to have more oils in it. Cologne is going to be lighter. You're not going to have so many oils. So that, again, is up to you how deep you want to make your fragrance. So that will be the beginning of your fragrance that you're going to make, your perfume that you're going to make. You want to have some really nice, deep base notes. Okay, so let's go on to the middle notes, middle notes, also known as heart notes. These, these, these are the pretty ones. This is going to be, let me go ahead and show you the graphic here. The middle notes for your fragrance, the middle notes are going to be your flower. So choose a flower that you really like the scent of. So here are some ideas that Young Living has that you can choose from. This is one of my favorites, Lang Lang. I absolutely love this. I just have to have a sniff of it here. And it's so heavy, you don't need a lot. You're not gonna put as much of the flower oils in here. We have some recipes coming up for you later, but we're just basically giving you some ideas so that you can choose what you want to do with your homemade fragrance. So Lang a Lang is one idea. Here's another one. I actually bought this oil so that I could make perfume with it because all the re fancy recipes I was looking at, they all had neroli in it. So it is a type of orange, I do believe, but it is a special orange so neroli is another idea of an oil that you can use for your heart notes or your middle notes uh, lisa go ahead i just got a bottle of that too chris um and it's super expensive but it is super unique it is kind of more like a green citrus flower is a good way to describe it yep but it just it just it fills the bill for that middle note the heart note for your fragrance. It's very unique, but it blends so well with all the other oils. So Neroli, that's another idea for you. How about geranium? A lot of us have geranium. Geranium is often in uh, skin serums. So you might have some geranium around from your skin serums or jasmine. I didn't get my jasmine bottle. But this is also very, very beautiful. Geranium is another idea that you can have for your middle notes, your um, heart notes for the the center of your fragrance okay so let's go on what what's next now we get the light notes for your fragrance the very very lightest notes for your fragrance and let me find my graphic on those so I can go ahead and show it to you these are the top notes top notes are what's going to hit you first and then they they dissipate quicker than the others so the top notes for your perfume are going to be maybe let me i have all of these here they're citrus so we went from trees uh then we went to flowers and now we're going to a citrus oil how about lime most of us love lime lime is what you can use as your top note and that's really going to be the light, airy one that's going to hit you first and dissipate first. Lime. Another idea, which is actually super beautiful, is tangerine. 
tangerine is one that you can use as the top notes for your fragrance. What you might find very interesting is I was just amazed I could make my own fragrance with my Young Living oils because I used to love to go to the perfume counter in the department stores and check out all these different fragrances. But these are the these are purer than what you're going to get at the department store with the fragrances there. And you can just put it together your own way. If there's a fragrance you really like, say you have one around the house, you're finishing it up, and now you want to make your own, try to sniff out what are the ingredients because you should be able to smell, if it's a good quality fragrance, some natural scents that are in that fragrance and try to put it together yourself. I also did some Googling around because there was one fragrance I used to love. It was a very deep fragrance and I put it together myself. I made my own copycat of that fragrance. Okay, grapefruit. This is really nice. This is in a lot of the perfume recipes. Grapefruit. Grapefruit is a great blender in your fragrance or your perfume. Another one bergamot earl gray tea going on here bergamot is another one that you can use as your top note the first scent that hits you in your fragrance how about orange a lot of us have orange orange is a mood booster keeps us happy if you got some orange around the house you want to try it out in your fragrance orange is a very nice one as a top note and everybody loves lavender lavender what's interesting here is do you see one that they mentioned basil so i haven't actually tried this in my fragrance but not being a citrus oil there's something about this that makes it a nice perfume blender for them to put it as the top note of the fragrance thyme is another one jade lemon anybody know anything about jade lemon what do you guys know about jade lemon Anyone ever, do you have this? Does anyone have jade lemon? This was one. Oh, good. What do you use it for? Not a thing. <laughs> jade lemon are the lemons that we would get in Tanzania when we were living in Tanzania. They are big and scrunchy, and the fragrance is just a little bit different than lemon itself. So jade lemon is a really nice little twist on lemon that you might like to get to put in your perfumes or your fragrances. And if you're like me, like I was telling you, I made this copycat fragrance, cinnamon. Mine had a lot of cinnamon bark in it. I don't know what I do with my cinnamon. It's around here somewhere. But cinnamon was a heavy ingredient that I used in my fragrance that I made. So... Those were just some of the basic ideas. Do you have your jade lemon, um, Rochelle? It's neat. It's it's just lemon with a twist. It's very, very neat. Some of you might have got for free geranium bourbon. How do you say this, Rochelle? Bourbon. Okay, I think I got it finally. It's not bourbon. But this is it's just a little bit different than geranium itself. But you could also use this in your fragrance. So you want to just, you know, maybe third, 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 you can with the roller ball you want one might want to put a little bit of a carrier oil or better yet some um uh, witch hazel to fill this up especially if you put it in a spray bottle you want to use witch hazel to top off your fragrance so before i go on to any recipes i think i'm going to turn it over to rochelle and let her tell you a little bit of what she's got ready for you oh lisa go ahead did you have a question Yeah, I just, I, I, you mentioned the witch hazel. Um, so I use Everclear. It, what is the difference? Or is maybe they're going to go into it? No, I was just going to say Everclear is going to be less fragrant <clears throat> and probably a better choice, actually. I use Everclear also. Um, my witch hazels have, uh, are not as pure as the Everclear. So Everclear is probably a better option, too. But let me just go ahead, and before I do go on, let me go ahead and just show you a couple little ideas here about what you can do Let me uh, with your fragrances here for recipes. Say you, say you okay, um, let me turn it into Rochelle, and then I'll go ahead and, and finish what I wanted to tell you. Go ahead, Rochelle. Okay. Oh, you're just so kind. All right. <laughs> All right. So first up, men's fragrances, you know, they don't want anything that's floral. 
uh, it to, I had somebody put um, lavender on uh, her uh, brother-in-law and it was kind of funny, but then the look on his face is, you know, shocking because it's lavender and it's floral. So they don't want anything that's too uh, light and flowery and smells like a girl. They don't really want that. Uh, most men want something that's um, clean, fresh, masculine, in their words, maybe something a little spicy. So a few of the recipes that I have, they actually border on that. And so the first one up is called uh, Lumberjack. And so that's kind of manly, especially if you think of paper towels like uh, brawny. And the first note on that is uh, juniper. Juniper is one that I don't have. A couple of uh, things you can switch it out for is either Northern Lights Black Spruce or uh, one of my favorites, Idaho Blue Spruce. And I can't do pine because pine is actually also in it. So it's 10 drops of juniper, five drops of cypress. Cypress is a... Uh, a, a softer, oh, there, but it reminds me of something. I can't think of what it is. It's gonna drive me crazy. In the middle of the night, I'll think of it, but it's, it is uh, a tree, right? So it's got a pine base to it, but it's way softer. And so there's cypress and then there's pine. And after that, it's peppermint. So it goes like this, 10, five, 10, five, 10 of the juniper, five drops of the cypress, 10 drops of the pine, five drops of the peppermint. And of course, you're always going to let them marry. You can put them in a roller, but I would suggest putting them because the suggestion is a roller bottle, but I don't know any man on the planet that uses a roller bottle. They might, but, but so you can add a spray top to it and you can find them on Etsy. I look on, I've looked on Etsy in the last 24 hours. You can get spray tops. Um, you can dress them up in black, gold, silver, multicolors if you choose to do that. Again, if it's a masculine, then I would err on the side of being neutral. And um, so rainbow colors, they probably wouldn't prefer that. Um, so black, silver, um, they probably won't care about gold, but you know, again, neutral. So that's lumberjack. Very strong, uh, very uh, tree-based, the juniper, cypress the peppermint and the pine those are all very masculine scents uh, what else do we have and, and i actually have quite a few sorry chris um they're on the same and so i'll share three and then oh. i'll show you where i got it from i'm I, sorry you like this was i just want to add a little something here this was all of i gave this as a gift to the, the brothers in our congregation and they fell in love with it. So this is the one I know oh, yeah. best. That's nice, Chris. Yeah, you might just want to take a screenshot of that. Uh -huh. so that was that a one is, uh, look at that. It's 12, 12, 12, and three of the peppermint, um, which tells me a couple of things. When, with three of the peppermint, if you put more, maybe you would be making an aftershave because you know the peppermint is going to wake you up it's going to open the up the pores and so the three of the peppermint really does make sense and then your fragrance notes the juniper the pine and the cypress that really does make sense um do they help you understand about the witch hazel is it about helping preserve is that what the witch hazel is for chris everything to stay mixed okay got it like uh, the recommendation Lisa made, it, it Everclear is just as good, if not better. Got it. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Um, I will say this. I made a fragrance for myself personally. And what I didn't appreciate it, because I used vodka um, and, you know, Everclear vodka, it's just the alcohol content. It thinned out my liquid and it smelled like alcohol. That I didn't like. And I stuck to the recipe. So I think the witch hazel is probably the better way to go only because you don't have the scent and it does what it needs to do. It keeps the emulsifying um, those uh, essential oils. Okay, so then here's a different one. This is called clean and fresh. 
And this is with uh, Cedarwood. I'm gonna tell you, Cedarwood is hands down one of my favorites. I keep a dropper lid on the top of it. And, uh, you know, Chris turned me on to Cedarwood with the lavender the Cedarwood. It's my go-to every night. But um, what, I, what I thought about the Cedarwood and when we were doing uh, the Bible reading, it's, um, it is impressive. And that temple really wasn't as huge as I think I thought it was. It's, it's the materials that they used. And cedar wood was in there, not just for the protection of, you know, the insects or whatever, but imagine what it'd been like to, to just be there with the aroma of that cedar wood just wafting through the air, cleansing and helping you to focus and concentrate, relax your brain. And uh, yeah, so that's cedar wood. So I love that. It gives me goosebumps to think about it. So now it's your man. I don't have a man. I'm just saying that. You know, I ain't got no man. But, you know, it's a woodsy, clean, fresh scent. And so it comes with 10 drops of cedar wood, five drops of lemon, 10 drops of Northern Lights Black Spruce. That is a fragrance that's it, um, together. So what do I have? I got the three Northern Lights, which I love Northern Lights. And then, oh, those smell really wonderful. And then lemon. Probably have the wrong one, don't I? Okay. And just walk them together. And that's what they recommend that you do. Take the tops off, open them up. Oh, wait, look, I don't even have the lid on that. That could be dangerous. And then just kind of circle them around your nose, back and forth. See what you look like. It's gonna give you a recipe but maybe if you like a little bit more Northern or lemon or cedar, you can add according to your liking. Be very careful because you know once you do it, you can't really undo it. So those are the three. Cedar wood, 10 drops, lemon, five drops, Northern Lights, black spruce. I did this wrong. Um, 10 drops, 10, five and 10. All right, any questions? I'm gonna show you guys where I got this from. Okay, I'm about to make a mess here. Mary Lee. Do not make me laugh. Here we go, more share screen. Here we go. Nope, Mary Lee had a question for you. Yes, ma'am. Mary Lee? I thought you said, um, Black spruce, and then now you're saying Northern Lights. Which one are we doing? Oh, there? it's the same. Northern Lights, Black Spruce is one one. Um, it's okay. it's one essential oil. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So there is um, there's there, it, this comes with six, and um, again at the top it gives you you can use this for a ten millimeter roller bottle switch out the roller and put a spray. And then you fill the rest with a carrier oil. What I would suggest is instead of using a carrier oil, um, because if you have a tendency, if you spray it, men most times will spray it on their clothes. Carrier oil might stay. So use the witch hazel. It'll come out in a mess in it, you know, the possibility of staining, you know, it won't, it won't, it shouldn't happen. Um, and then, uh, what's the other one? The other one that is on here that I actually think smells really nice is the gentle giant. I like the name, but it's bergamot, which is a citrus frankincense and cedar wood. So you have a citrus and then you have, uh, frankincense as a resin and then the wood base, of uh, the cedar wood. So you have three different ones. But the cedar one and the frankincense are somewhat similar, even though frankincense is a resin. And I think those are just, um, when I get a man, I'm going to make that. <laughs> get my roommates to crack it up, be like, you do it too much. <laughs> you want me to find you one? No, ma'am. No, thank you. <laughs> I wrote that one already picked out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Rochelle, does anybody why have any? Would you, why would you, why, Rochelle, why would you turn that down? Now, listen, this is about fragrance. Calm down. <laughs> Joanna, you tried to start trouble. 
<laughs> my mom is on here. Don't forget my mom is on here. <laughs> well, she found herself a man. Okay. Okay. You guys are killing me. I did. I know I did this to myself. Okay. So anybody have any questions? Take a screenshot of natural cologne. And Chris, I'm going to turn it back to you. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Well, does she need a man? No. <laughs> I know plenty of them. Oh, you got it. All right. We're so Here we go. Let's get let's get back together. Lisa has a question before we go on. Is it's not about a man, right? Lisa? I don't know. <laughs> um, what was well, the numbers on that last? Uh, that cologne that could help you. <laughs> uh, bergamot, frankincense, and cedarwood. What was the numbers on the drops on on those? Or I guess it was it? Uh, the gentle giant. It's three drops of bergamot, eight drops of frankincense, twelve drops of cedarwood. Okay. All right, you guys are all ready now. You've probably all heard that they're not your monthly orders, but your cart orders, your one-time orders, that it's 15% off. So say you want to send a gift to somebody, or you just want to, somebody, one of your friends wants to get something, or you want to get something extra special this month. Now you just make this fragrance for your hubbies and you give it to them and say, can I go <laughs> and shop the 15% off sale? That This is good timing. Good job, Rochelle. Thanks. So like Rochelle told you all, this is what we want to do. You want to take whichever flower oil, citrus oil, and tree oil that you've decided you really like the scent of, take the caps off, start down at your belly, and slowly roll them up to get them into your nose and see if you like that blend. If not, switch one of them out. Get a blend you like before you start putting them in your bottle to make your fragrance. So I'm gonna give you some ideas here about different blends you can make for yourselves because I'm sure us ladies wanna have our natural perfume also. So here's some ideas for you. If you can see that there. All right, everybody looking at the natural perfume? I got like so much stuff on my screen. Are we able to see that okay? No, not yet. Okay. You no. got it? No, my, my, I don't know, something going wrong here. Uh-oh, okay. Well, here's the idea is I can go ahead and tell you. A summer blend is 15 drops bergamot. 15 drops citrus fresh, five drops lime, and three drops of grapefruit. This light and fresh, here's another idea. It's jasmine, five drops, four drops orange, three drops lemon, three drops sandalwood. So you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this so you have it too. If you're a cedarwood person, that one, actually I love cedarwood also with the lang lang and orange. That's 888. And there's one more there that's called Be Strong. Bergamot, Lang Lang, and Patchouli. So I would probably, I would be using this size or the 15 mil size. So I would probably be adding drops because I like a nice strong fragrance. I would probably just add one drop to each of it. It's your fragrance, it's your thing, so you can do what you want. That's the joy of having all these beautiful essential oils in your home. So you can mix and blend according to your taste and your scents, the scents you like. <laughs> okay, so here's um, just another um, idea for you. There is, I don't have it with me right here. There is a diffuser blend called Midnight Blossom that I absolutely love. And I actually made this into a perfume for myself. So if there is a diffuser blend that you absolutely love, you can make that into a perfume or a cologne to wear around. A cologne just means it's gonna be less drops that you're gonna use compared to a perfume. Perfume is stronger. So let me just give you, we're still in summer here for a little while. Us in Florida, we're still dying with summer. <laughs> it's like 91 degrees feeling like 102. But here are just some summer scents. If you're a person who likes to smell like summer, 
These are diffuser blends, but you can go ahead, try them out, and see if you would like them in a perfume. So if you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of that. The Sunny Day Lemongrass Orange and Peppermint to me sounds amazing. That's an idea. How about Dreaming of Hawaii? Stressify, stress, uh, stress away, magnify your purpose in Lyme. So these are just different ideas, but if there's any kind of a fragrance, a scent that you regularly put into your diffuser that you love to have with you, we're all going to be going out of the houses a lot more starting September 1st. So make it into a little spray for yourself and use it as a cologne or a perfume. You're not going to have your diffuser going in your home like you're used to. So that's the answer. This class is perfect for you to know what you can do to keep those scents with you. And as we know, Young Living is not just scent, but it works on our bodies. It benefits us. So any questions until now? Anybody have any questions for me that you want to ask? Because I want to go on to something else I want to share with you guys. All right. What if you want to get a little fancier? I'm just going to go ahead and give you some more ideas if you want to get a little. Oh, go ahead, Lisa, before I go on. I get that a screenshot of it, but I can. As there's no way you could send it on the text. I, I we can do it later, but I couldn't get a screenshot. Sure, I can. I can do that. I can pull it back up right now. Let me see. I don't think I shut it down. Let me see if I can. All right, let me see what I did with that. Back here, the mini, here it is. The summer diffuser recipes, is that the one you wanted? Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Find myself again. All right. Okay, I lost everyone. I'm good at losing you guys. I've been <laughs> losing you tonight. All right, here we go. I found you, yay! Okay, here's the summer diffuser recipes. If you wanna have it with you, keep summer with you all winter long. You can have summer with you. Tell me when you can see it here after you get your screenshot. I'll leave it up for a second. There is an orange dreamsicle recipe here, but if you were able to get the summer blends Young Living put out, we have orange, I think it's called orange creamsicle in it, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so every, if you don't know, every three months, Young Living's going to have scents of that season. Like we had summer, there's three 10 mil bottles for the diffuser that came out. And you could actually use any of these and make it just um, dilute it down a little bit and put it into a spray bottle. And then in the fall, probably next month, September, they'll come out with three more blends for the fall. So they're going to be doing that every season. When the seasons change, they're going to have scents, mixed um, essential oil blends for that season. Did you get that, Lisa? The screenshot of it? For some reason, my phone, I'm on my phone. It's not taking it for some reason. It's okay. I'll, Lisa, I'll find it later. Lisa, Lisa yeah. I just sent you it. Oh, okay. okay. I just texted so. you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about that. My phone's like, let no, me take a picture. No problem. I just want to share something with you guys. Does anyone have this book? Anybody have this little perfumery book? Let me see what the name of it is. It is Essential Perf Perfumery. This is a book that is put out by the lady who made Savvy Minerals. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, Melissa Popping, Popping. And these have been tried and tested recipes. So first of all, would you like to technically know the difference between perfume um, and the lighter sprays? So the perfume, they say, she says to use 80 proof vodka. She's very specific that as your carrier to top it off, you want to use 80 proof vodka. So she's saying to use a 10 mil roller ball if you're making a perfume with a uh, roller bottle and then a stainless steel roller ball. We know they always work better than the plastic. And then if you want a lighter spray, use a fine mist with a spray bottle, she's saying. Um, and then in between, she's saying use the 80 proof vodka with one ounce of water when you have two ounces 
of total liquid that you're making. So that's just her idea there. So I'm just going to share with you all, there's three different recipes that I absolutely love that are in her book. So this is from her book, just so you all know. And how could we get a book? Um, you know, that is a good question. I got this <laughs> at one of the Young Living events. It was for sale. But let me, I'll, I'll go ahead on the, um, I can okay. send it to Lisa and I will, I will go ahead and try to find where you can get it now. Because I don't think Young Living themselves have it, but I'm sure they're still for sale. But the, this is a beautiful, beautiful book. They're very, yeah. they're not simple recipes. They're kind of, I bought a bunch of oils so I could make these. <laughs> but oh. one is um, Loris Nobilis, one drop. So she's got a ton of different perfumes in here. Copa Iba, one drop. Lime, four drops. Cedarwood, four drops. Lavender, four drops. Rose, two drops. Geranium, four drops. Let me just go ahead and, um, well, I'll go ahead and finish this one, but it's quite technical. Spruce, two drops. Orange, five drops. Lang Lang, one drop. Cinnamon, one drop. Neroli, one drop. Bergamot, five drops. And Jasmine, three drops. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up for you in her book. So you guys can see it. No, I don't think I can see it. Okay. But um, what I'll do is I'll find out where you can get this book. And then it's a beautiful book. for It's all different perfume recipes. They're very technical. They're not the simple way of doing things. But this is an idea if you're into making a nice, beautiful fragrance. This is how you can do it. And that'll Could, you just read that? Could you just read that again, the, the last one that you read? Okay, this is called Solace. This is her recipe for Solace. It's in the Innocent Collection. She has different collections, too, depending on what kind of personality you have. Mm -hmm. So after Rose, two drops. Geranium, four drops. Spruce, two drops. Orange, five drops. Lang Lang, one drop. Cinnamon, one drop. Neroli, one drop. Bergamot, five drops, and jasmine, three drops. Cinnamon, one drop? Yes. Neroli, and, uh -huh. one drop. Okay, and the last one was neroli? Neroli is one, bergamot, five, and jasmine, three. But that's just one of the beautiful, you can see I have them all marked here, the beautiful yeah. different fragrances. And it they are they are deep, beautiful fragrance. Melinda, did you have a question too? Oh, I'm not hearing you. I see the mouth moving. Okay, now I hear you. Oh, now you're muted, but I did hear you for a second. Can you hear me now? Yes. What is the title of the book? It's called Melissa Poping's Essential Perfumery Collections. So I'm going to try to find a link so you guys can get this. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing to have around. But from time to time when I go and I want to get complicated with my perfumes, that's where I go to. All right, guys, I think that's what we had. Rochelle, did you have anything else you wanted to share with everybody tonight? Go yes, I did. Okay, so I'm creating something. Let's see how I do. All right, now, now I wanted to show you guys. I think I did it backwards, but let's see. All right, so on my, I wanted to show you what how to build, I should say. <clears throat> so men's fragrances, it has here the base. Uh, start with frankincense, myrrh, vanilla, vetiver, oak moss, patchouli, cedarwood or sandalwood. That's your base. And as you can see, there's not very many in the base. And your middle notes, which would go second, of course, you've got pine, different from, as you can see, the base notes, ginger, fir, black pepper, rosemary, nutmeg, cypress, clove bud, cinnamon, clary sage, juniper berry. Now, juniper berry and clove bud, just the title, 
it might be a different company. And that sometimes, you know, you have to just be really careful because I'm looking on Pinterest. And then your top notes, you've got basil, bergamot. So you've got an herb and citrus and coriander, which is also known as Oh my gosh, I can set the tip of my tongue. You see it in a lot of Hispanic dishes, green leaf. Sometimes people Cilantro. mistake it as parsley. What'd you say? Cilantro. Cilantro, there you go, thank you. Um, but it's a fresh green smell, uh, a more herbal. Grapefruit, lime, mandarin, melissa, beautiful fra um, aroma on that. Orange, peppermint, lemongrass, lemon, lavender, petty grain. Interesting on those top notes, right? So here's what I mixed up. Cedar wood, clary sage, and basil. That's a nice little fragrance. So what I smell, I started with the cedar wood. That's my base. Um, I wanted to try clary sage because I just don't know. It, it seems odd or different, you know, for a men's fragrance. And then basil. And that's actually, uh, it smells more of a more sophisticated, dressier fragrance for men. So I'll have to remember that. So, cause Willie Mae lives around the corner from me. Willie Mae, I'm gonna make you a sample of that for uh, Benny, her husband. Um, so that actually is quite nice. It's dressy, but it also smells fresh. And, and of course I'll make some for my mom too. She's giving me that look. So there's your recipe, really. <laughs> Gay, don't stop laughing, Gay. But as you can see here, you've got a, some really um, nice base scents on that, right? The cedar wood, the sandalwood, and then your middles. Play with them, see what you like. I just put it on my hand, that's all I did. And then you figure out what you wanna do with the top notes. Um, this, yeah, this smells actually uh, very pretty. Um, and then you've got, and then you mix, continue mixing. Uh, I would like to see what would happen once I add that high base alcohol to that and um, to make it, like Chris said, more of, uh, it's, it's closer to a perfume than it is a cologne. So we'll see how that goes. All so right, there's that. I wanted to share that with you guys. And then I think I had one other that I wanted to share with you. Here we go, uh, beard oil. There might be some, some of the men want beard, they have beards, you know, if you know anyone that has one, um, if they're going, sometimes, you know, men will grow a beard when they're on vacation. They're not, you know, and uh, so this is one for a beard oil and then also a cologne. So I thought you guys might like that. I wanted to share that with you soften up the beard a little bit. Um, and it, you know that's what you're gonna get with the coconut oil and the lavender. It's gonna soften up that beard. And then the, the cologne, bergamot. There's your citrus. And then you have white fur, um, clove, lemon, top of the carry oil. So just apply that. So if you guys wanna take a screenshot of that. That is absolutely very nice, okay. And I literally, just so you know, I don't really have a recipe for the one that I made with the cedar wood, the clary sage and the basil. I literally just did one drop of each in my hand. So um, I would have to play with it to finish off that recipe. You know, we don't want, want them smelling like a flower running around. <laughs> so <laughs> anybody have any questions or want any other type of recipes? Oops. Hold Hi. on, Willie Man. I saw you. Go ahead. Uh, nope. I'll have to. I'll have to send it to you. Sorry. Don't yell at me. I nope. won't. It's better for you to send it anyway. I'm not okay. good with this. Lisa, Lisa, I think she has a question. I know no men that have a beard, but I have. Someone said the Mariah oil, the Mariah. Melissa? No, it's called Mariah. Oh, Mira, the Mira. Yeah, yeah, um, yes. Mira, yeah, that they've used that. But I, I honestly don't know any man that with a beard. 
I don't know too many, but I know that there are some <laughs> brothers who grow a little facial hair when they're going on vacation long enough because they can't, you know, otherwise they're always shaving. I guess, depending on whether or not if you live in Scotland or some of the other, you know, Northern areas. All right, ladies, I have something special for you here. I found it. It is, this is how you spell her name, if you can see it there. And the, her book is 1599, this book that I have here. So on her page, at her website here, you can go ahead and get this beautiful book. But yeah, you, you, we can't find we can't follow you, Chris, because you're rolling it too much. OK, well, on the top, can you see the top? That's her name dot com. And then that's the book for fifteen ninety nine. And it has those three collections in it. Twenty one cents. But it is an amazing little book. So it is available so that, that you can get it there. Everybody got it? That wanted go back to her name. Go back to her name. There you go. I guess she sells other things too, but this is what I have, this beautiful book of hers. And it's such a pretty color being so gold. Yeah, but these are very complicated recipes. I should actually get some and make them gifts for people. Like Rochelle. I have a lot of gifts around here <laughs> that I have for you. I still have the essential oil book, the, the small, it's a little bigger, it's bigger than this, probably about this size. Anybody who has two new people who get a bundle, let me know because I have one of those books for you. Just let me know. Not only will Young Living be giving you cash, but I'll be happy to give you a book. All right, ladies. So I wanted to share with everybody. So I did the drawing for my team, our July drawing. And I had four people in the drawing. It was Jacqueline Hill, Melinda Garay, Denise Peterson, and Teray Evans. And Teray won. And Teray didn't want any of the essential oils that I had, or she couldn't make up her mind. So I gave her a $10 credit. So that's what I'll be doing. So for every 100 PV, you have, your name goes into the drawing. So if you get 100 at least, PV you order, you'll have one entry. But if you do two or 300, you get two or three entries into the drawing. So, hey, can I forget be, that? Can I be on your team? <laughs> we're, we're full. We're oh, full. Okay. <laughs> You're so much fun. We love you, Rochelle. All right, ladies, um, any questions you have, stick around for us. Next week, we're talking about CBD. But thank you guys all for coming. We appreciate having you. We're just going to say goodbye to Facebook. So goodbye, Facebook. Thanks for joining us.